I'm Emily Lomborg with the Stellar Group, and I'm here today to continue our series on the first time home buying process. Last time, Stellar Group buyer agent Beth Walden joined us, and she talked to us a little bit about the buyer consultation appointment, setting up your wants and needs list, and really the importance of good communication with your agent. Today, we're gonna focus on the fun part, looking at homes. When you're ready to start looking at homes, where do you start? You've already sat down with your buyer agent for that consultation and you've made your detailed list of wants and needs. The next step is your agent goes back and they load all that criteria into the MLS. The MLS is where all properties listed on the market are stored and sent out to the public for viewing. So your agent's gonna load all of your personal criteria into the MLS and that is gonna create your own auto search. Every time something lists, on the market meeting your specific set of criteria, it's gonna email right over to you. And that email is gonna include all of the property details, the size, the specifications, any kind of special features, including 99% of the time, all of the great property photos. It's a really great first step for you as the first time home buyer to start to get to know the market and what is out in the market in your price range meeting your criteria. If you're a serious shopper, you really should be focusing your search only in the MLS. A lot of people want to look at all the sites there are out there uh, that have all kinds of property listings and property information. However, the only real accurate information is going, to become, is going to come directly from the MLS. Zillow, for instance, is a site that many, many home buyers, first time home buyers and 10th time home buyers like to reference. Zillow really does have a lot of great resources and a lot of great features. However, the information is not always that accurate. You might find listings on Zillow that have already closed or are expired or are no longer on the market. A lot of times I've had buyers come to me and say, hey, I see these three listings you sent me through the MLS, but here's five others I found on Zillow. Can we look at them too? And invariably, when I look them up, they're not really available for various reasons. Not only are they maybe already sold or expired or have been withdrawn, you will find a lot of what's termed pre-foreclosure listings. These homes are not on the market either. If somebody is behind on their mortgage payments and a notice of election in demand, NED, is filed with the county, then those NED reports can be pulled and people stick them up on Zillow saying they're pre-foreclosure sales when these homes are not on the market. If they truly are pre-foreclosure sales or even foreclosure sales, they're going to be listed in the MLS. All this different data that you can find on Zillow can be really confusing. So the point is stick to the listings that come through the MLS because they're most accurate. Once you start getting that list of homes, your very next step is to go start driving around neighborhoods. Uh, this is especially something uh, you can do if you are not quite ready to buy. Maybe you're just starting your fact finding process or you're still saving up some of your down payment and you really want to get an idea, different neighborhoods that are out there in your price range. Once you start getting these auto emails and you start getting the listings, get out there, drive through neighborhoods and start narrowing down areas you really want to concentrate on and areas you want to eliminate. It's the perfect first step of educating yourself on the market. Finally, once you're ready, you get out there and start looking at homes. In early 2021, where we are now, inventory is low and homes are selling really fast. So you don't wanna wait. If you're a serious shopper, if you have all your pieces put together, you have your pre-approval, you've educated yourself on the market and you are ready to buy, you're ready to make that offer, you don't wanna wait to get out and look at homes. Because often in today's market, good homes priced accurately they can sell in a day or two. At the Stellar Group, all of our buyer agents work with a licensed partner who works full-time out in the field showing homes. The value of that is if your buyer agent is busy, they're showing somebody else a home or they have anything else going on, their partner is available to get you into homes you wanna see according to your time schedule as soon as they list. You just don't wanna ever miss any opportunities. In a strong seller's market, you often have to make some really quick decisions, which can really kind of create a lot of pressure, especially for a first time home buyer. Um, you don't always have the luxury to go look at a home and then maybe come back a few days later, or bring some family or friends, get a second opinion. Often you go see a house the day it lists 
and you kind of have to make a quick decision as to whether or not you want to make an offer on it. One piece of advice, make sure you spend the time you need to think it over. It does feel like a lot of pressure, but that's another reason your buyer agent is there for you. They're there to talk about the pros and cons. Does this home meet your lists of wants and needs? Is it comfortable within your budget? And so take that time, don't rush too fast, but you also don't want to let good opportunities pass you by. In our next segment, we're going to have a conversation with one of our buyer specialists, Molly Smith. Her job is uh, opening doors and getting people out in the market to view homes every day. So stay tuned for that.